Hi and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Mardos. I'm Gerard. This week we're going to talk about what is the best Maduro cigar for beginners. But before I get going, I need to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week of new episodes of Mondays with Mardos. All right, you guys, I've been given this sheet right here. So we're going to talk about a topic. What is the best Maduro cigars for beginners? If you're new to the cigar world, the choices can be overwhelming. There are so many different types of cigars and each one has its own unique flavor and aroma. So true. So in this video today, I'm going to introduce to you some of the best Maduro cigars for beginners. I'll explain what makes a Maduro cigar unique and I'll recommend a few brands that you should try. Some of the best Maduro cigars that is subjective, I'm going to talk about some of the Maduro cigars that I think you should try as a beginner. First off, what makes a Maduro cigar very unique? Maduro means ripe or ripened in Spanish. When you are aging tobacco leaf, the longer you age it, the more stress you're gonna to introduce to it, so it's gonna turn darker. But what's happening is that the starch is turning into a sugar, so therefore a Maduro wrapper should be a sweeter wrapper. Second, a Maduro wrapper traditionally is used to tame down a very strong, full body, full strength type of blend and that's what it's used for. But if you're a beginner, this may sound something that's not very appealing to you. So I'm gonna introduce to you, I guess, or suggest three cigars I have here that are Maduros that are not going to overpower your palate, they're not gonna be very offensive, and they're not gonna scare you away. We're gonna get into one of the first cigars that I'm gonna recommend. This is by El Artista called the Buffalo 10. This is a Maduro. They only have one size, which is a Toro. It is box pressed. What I like about this, it's also been rated like 89 out of 100, which is pretty respectable. This cigar is going to be pretty earthy. The jaw is not going to be very hot. You're not going to be offended by it. It's not going to overcrowd your palate. And if you don't like it, it's not going to hurt your pocket because it was only around five or six dollars MSRP. I think maybe even a 450. I'm not really sure, but Buffalo 10 Maduro. That's what I recommend. Second, this is a cigar that we make out of our own factory. This is Herbert Spencer by Jake Wyatt Cigar. And I recommend the Toro size, it being a six inch by 54 ring gauge. There's gonna be more filler and there's gonna be more air movement. So therefore it's going to tame down the flavor of this cigar. Now the Maduro is a San Andreas Maduro wrapper. This cigar is going to be sweet. Think of like cream in your coffee. You're gonna have the base coffee that's gonna have a little bit of cream in there. Reason being is because we use Olor binder on this Maduro, giving you that chocolatey, milky, that creamer coffee kind of flavor. It does have a slight bit of Pennsylvania body to give you that kick so it can be true to its Maduro characteristics. However, it's not going to be so strong that you're gonna be turned off by it. And these are around $11.80 MSRP. Again, this is going to be something that's gonna be a little bit more elevated. However, very elegant, very smooth. This one is a very, very popular cigar, a world-renowned brand. It's called Arturo Fuente. And this is the 858 Maduro. The 858 is a number one selling SKU, so at least I've been told when it comes to Arturo Fuente. Now, the 858 is introduced in several different variations of wrappers this is the Maduro and again this is going to have a bit spice but it's again it's not gonna overpower you it's around six to seven dollars so therefore if you don't like it it doesn't really break the bank I do recommend this cigar it is more of a mild to medium in strength and full flavor very nice cigar and this can be found almost anywhere the 858 maduro is definitely a staple when it comes to the industry so these are the three recommendations that i have for you if you're a beginner in the maduro segment other than that i will see you guys next week let me know in the comments what you think of these recommendations but before i get going remember to follow us on instagram like us on facebook and tell your friends to subscribe to our youtube channel that was a really bad outro but I'll see you guys bye